All right, thanks, Jack. Well, tonight, the Oklahoma County Jail is responding to a video circulating that some say makes it look like an officer there kicked an inmate in the head. But jail officials say that's not what happened. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson got a look at that full clip from the incident, which happened yesterday shortly before noon. So, Tom, what did you see in that video? Wayne and Wendy, I saw officers rushing to the inmate who was armed with a shaving shear with a cord attached. After not being able to talk him down, the jail says officers had to act. Here's a look at that very moment in the footage Fox 25 got from the jail. You can see the jail's chief operating officer, Tony Towery, rushing to the inmate. The jail's communications director, Mark Opgren, said Towery responded but did not kick the man in the head. Is putting his uh, foot on the on the back of the individual to keep him on the ground because at this point there are now converging on him to put handcuffs on him to get him into custody, and when you're not fully compliant and your arms aren't on the back, there's no d way to determine if you're going to pop back up again. The corded shear the enemy was holding considered a potential weapon. Well, at this time he has taken the the shears, which has a sharp edge on it and also has a long cord on it. So that's when at that point where the detention officers are not going to him and openly engaging with him, they're standing off. Leading up to the incident, officers tried to de-escalate the situation after they say the inmate started verbally abusing staff and refused to go back to his cell during recreation time. And after getting nowhere, officers used pepper balls and spray. Opgren says a use of force like this one on Tuesday is a last resort and that every such incident kicks off an investigation to look into the legality and justification of the decision. There's a wide range of use of force, but every single one of them is investigated to make sure that everything is done uh, legally and above board. The inmate was cleared by medical after the incident. The jail says no word yet on how exactly the clip of Towery rushing to the detainee was originally released. And we're also learning that this detainee was already in a separate area of the jail because of past incidents involving another inmate and contraband. The jail says the district attorney's office was notified of the incident and will be involved with this review. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News.